10 sickening foods that people eat. Number 10. Tegalarca granosa, aka blood clams, are given that name because it contains hemoglobin liquid inside the soft tissues, a delicacy in China. This dish has numerous dangers associated with it. Due to surviving in low oxygen environments, it is more likely to ingest viruses and diseases, such as hepatitis A and dysentery. In spite of that, back in 2011, the New York Times tried to sell them as something worth trying, though we would like to believe the clams being served in the Big Apple were somehow screened for potential problems. For clam lovers, this is a must try but we're not sure we could get over the bloody appearance. Number nine, Kasu Marzu is a Sardinian cheese served with live maggots. You heard that correctly. Kasu Marzu, which translates as putrid cheese, takes blue cheese about 100 steps further and literally has live, crawling, breathing, moving maggots inside of it. Not only that, it's on purpose. This cheese moves beyond the stage of fermentation into decomposition, all helped along by a larva introduced in order to quicken and transform the cheese itself. According to foodie experts, should you run into the cheese and the maggots are dead, it's unsafe to eat. The cheese is very controversial in the European Union, where it has been banned until recently just about everywhere. Though due to being a traditional food, it has been since ruled exempt of normal health and safety rules. The cheese also, notably, features all the larval excrement. Number eight. In Japanese, shirako translates as white children and refers to the seminal sacs of a variety of different fish, included cod, salmon, and squid. Considered a delicacy, these little sacs of love are obular and white with an uncomfortable resemblance to a bleached or marbled brain. Apparently quite delicious, the food is most often served raw or at the most lightly grilled. It has been described as having a very smooth and buttery texture. And as long as you don't know what it is, it can be especially delicious and mouthwatering. Japan, of course, is not the only country to serve seminal sacs as part of their cuisine and other countries such as Russia, Romania, and in Sicily. They are served and eaten at different occasions in each country and can be used as a topping on pasta or, as it is in Russia, pickled and served separately from the fish from which it came. Number seven. Soup number five is a Filipino dish that claims to be able to boost your sex drive. This soup is made with the penis or testes from a bull and is not a rare delicacy, but a fairly common food served on the streets of major cities in the Philippines. One of the reasons this one isn't listed higher is that looking at it, you could easily imagine it's a normal meat soup. At the very least, its rather harmless appearance will make it a little easier to swallow. Number six, a dish from Australia. These large white larvae are a thing of nightmares. The origin of this dish is among the most practical, as the Australian aboriginals living in the desert really didn't have much to eat, and this became an important staple in their diet that helped keep them alive. The grubs can be eaten raw or cooked. Apparently raw, they taste like almonds. While fried up, their skin is like roast chicken, and their insides something akin to an egg. Number five. You've likely seen images of this bizarre and troubling wine snake wine, which ferments real deadly snakes in rice wine or other grain alcohols. Banned in most places due to its potentially fatal nature, it is drunk less as a delicacy than as a medicine that promises to boost potency and fertility. Found in Asian countries like China and Vietnam, while the wine is not dangerous to drink, it still poses too much of a risk for most countries to allow it. This wine is ranked higher than some for the ick factor, but the reality is that this is a popular favorite amongst food daredevils who want to have a thrill without too much of a risk. While the wine is made in different ways, sometimes with the blood or bile of the snake, the most common way is to just ferment the whole snake, along with herbs and sometimes smaller snakes as well. Number four, a century egg is a Chinese dish where an egg from a quail, duck, 
chicken, or pheasant is preserved in a mixture of clay, ash, salt, and rice hulls over a number of weeks or months. Over this period, the yolk takes on a grayish-green color, and the white becomes a translucent dark brown. On top of that, due to the development of ammonia, the eggs themselves take on a strong scent of urine, leading some to believe the process involves horse pee. Century eggs can be eaten on their own or as a part of a larger dish, and are usually served at special events. While it apparently tastes a lot like a normal hard-boiled egg, it's hard to escape its very powerful smell, making this as bad even if you close your eyes. Number 3. For whatever reason, Tiet Khan Vit has been compared to a pizza, but it's nothing like a pizza. This Vietnamese dish is made primarily from duck blood that, through some careful orchestration, is turned into a sort of pancake soup that is not quite liquid and not quite solid, made from raw blood with some peanuts and herbs, and is typically served as a protein-rich breakfast dish in the northern parts of the country. Once the blood is drained from the animal, it is quickly mixed with some fish sauce to prevent the blood from coagulating. It is usually eaten right away or stored in a fridge so that the dish doesn't return to its bloody liquid state. Number two, Tong Zidan roughly translates to virgin boy egg, which only begins to explain what this delicacy really is. Sold in Dongyang, Zhejiang in China every spring, these eggs might look normal on the surface, but are actually cooked in the urine of prepubescent boys. For hours in the morning, the eggs are soaked and boiled, and sometime near midday, they are removed from their shells only to continue to cook in the young kid's pee. Considered lucky and good for promoting health, they have been consumed for centuries in the village. While most people buy them from street vendors, others go the extra mile, collecting their own urine and preparing the eggs in their own homes. The Chinese government has even protected the tradition as a part of cultural heritage of the area. Number one, served in the far reaches of the country, up north in the tundra of the Yukon, the sour toe cocktail is the one alcoholic drink we would definitely turn down. With a legend going back to the 1920s, this cocktail includes a real human mummified toe. While you're not encouraged or even legally allowed to consume the toe, having it float around in your drink only to be scooped up and used again is not our idea of a party. The Sour Toe Club where the drink is served actually has 10 different toes that they've collected over the years, all by donations. They even have a catchphrase to help the whole thing go down smoother. You can drink it fast, you can drink it slow, but your lips have got to touch the toe. <laughs>